Hey you guys, it's me Z. I'm back with a new video. As you all know, we are all in quarantine. I'm bored. I have nothing to do. I actually got all four of my wisdom teeth taken out today, so I'm going to do a voiceover for majority of the video, but I did want to come up here and say hey to y'all. Um, I haven't been filming because I really haven't been feeling it lately. Like I just, I don't know. I feel like doing wig reviews, I'm getting the same kind of wigs and it's like, okay, I'm going to just do a middle part, cut the lace and that's it. So my friend just made her first YouTube video and it kind of inspired me to get back started. Her name is um, Abundantly Brie. I'm gonna link her page in the description box somewhere. She did this lace front that was like this orangey red color. And my sister just dyed one of her wigs, a similar co color, but a lighter color. So I'm like, okay, I got a whole bunch of wigs, literally 10 in total, I counted the other day. And one of them I liked, but it's just, plain to me it looks like all the other ones so it is the k beth 4x4 closure wig that i reviewed not too long ago um i didn't really do anything with it i just put it in the middle i think i did either a middle part or a side part and i just did some light waves and this is a straight unit i think it's a 12 inch wig but if it's not i'll put that in the description somewhere um i have some dye that i picked up on sale a couple months ago i have the color copper brown in a door, which is number 76, and the color Honey Brown in 48. I want like a reddish color, like the color I had in my hair a couple years ago, but I do want it to be a little lighter. So I'm hoping if I add a little bit of the honey, it'll lighten it, but since it has brown, it won't make it too like fiery, because I'm not looking for fire. I just want a, a nice little spring color or whatever. So um, like I said, I have a bunch of wigs, but I work in a bank now, so I try not to be too dramatic with the ones that I wear to work and um like I said I just got my wisdom teeth taken out and my job switched to a half shift so I'm off this week but I work next week this is a very random moment I literally said hmm let's do a video so I have my wig as I showed I have my dye I have three bottles I probably only need two but I already have two of the red anyway so it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna be using 30 developer and I'm gonna be using the, the BW2 lighter powder. Um, I have a little bit left in this and then I have one of the packets. I think this is extra. Yeah, they're the exact same thing. So I'm gonna use the packet and then if I need more, I'll use um, some from out the container. And when I bleach my hair, I always add a little bit of conditioner to it. But I always add just a little conditioner because when I used to dye my natural hair, that was how I kept it from getting damaged. Now, if you want to dye your hair, whether it's weave or your natural hair, I always suggest adding a little bit of oil or conditioner so that it's not damaging your hair as it's lightening it. Um, I do have some gloves. I can't find my dye applicator brush, so I'm gonna have to just I guess do it by hand. I'm gonna use my mannequin stand to hold the wig up there. Um, like I said, this is a wig. It's a four by four closure wig, machine made. Um, it's not super thick, so I don't think I'll need a lot of bleach, but I'm gonna just make a lot just to be safe because you'd rather have a little too much than not enough and then now your wig is patchy. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get started. And like I said, I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I'm not gonna be able to talk long, but just stay tuned and I'll probably do a voiceover for different parts later. And while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I may have some more content coming. So we all locked up anyway, you ain't got nothing to do. So watch my channel, like the videos. Okay, so ignore some of the faces I'm making. Like I said, I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I can't really feel my lips. But on camera, I only added two scoops of this bleach, but I ended up having to go and add two more. So in total, I used four scoops of the bleach and one packet of bleach.
So now I'm just gonna wash out the um, developer or the bleach. I'm gonna just give you a close up real quick. It's like a orangey copper color. Um, I started the back first, so the back took a little better. Um, I don't necessarily want the colors to be off, so I'm gonna leave the front on for less time so it could be about even. When I did this, I was thinking about how I dyed my real hair and since the front of your hair um, develops quicker because it's closer to the scalp. I did it like that, but it's a wig, so that's not the case. But um, I got it to be pretty even. I started at about 10, 15, and it is 11, 12 right now. So I'm going to rinse the wig out in the sink. I'm gonna use some of my Shimmer and Lights shampoo to kind of like tone it down after I'm done. Um, I do have this anti-aging color protecting shampoo little sample from, I guess, Rue. It was something I got from Sally's, which I'll never use. I'm gonna use the um, Dark and Lovely Damage Slayer shampoo, and then I'm gonna use the same conditioner, the Aussie conditioner that I used when I added it to the bleach. So I'm gonna do that in the sink real quick, and then I'll be right back. So the, the bleach actually got the wig to a color that was very close to what I was actually aiming for. I was looking for like a coppery brown color, but I was gonna add just a little blonde to make it just a little lighter. So I'm gonna show you real quick how it looks. I haven't even toned it or anything. And, and you know, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to see what color something is when it's wet, but it's like a, it's like a dark ginger color, a natural ginger color. I was gonna bleach the knots on the wig as I did this, but I ended up having to do two extra scoops of the powder bleach. So I used like three scoops of powder and I used the actual packet and then I added more developer that was 30 volume. Uh, I feel like if I would've used 40, it might've went a little bit lighter quicker, but I didn't have 40 at the time. But um, when I did the front part, I did add a whole bunch of developer, so it did seep through. So my knots did bleach a little bit. Um, I'll probably still add makeup on it, but it did kind of bleach through a little bit, but not like, it's not like it did everywhere, but the very, very middle where I have my actual part. So I'm gonna just keep going. I'm still gonna um, go ahead and do the dye on top of it because I mean, why not? And like I said, I'm gonna use the shimmer lights real quick and then wash it and shampoo it as normal and then go ahead and do the actual color. So I rinsed out the wig, I got all the shampoo out. I used the shimmer and lights and I didn't condition it because I'm gonna condition it after I'm done dyeing. So I took the storage container that I used to use in my old bathroom and I filled it majority with water. Um, the water is like hot slash warm. Um, usually I just do my dye, like I just slap it up there and do it the same way I did my bleach. But this time I'm gonna just go ahead and do the watercolor because I see a lot of people have good results with that. So I was aiming for like a reddish kind of blondish color. Um, even though the bleach took it's still like a chocolatey color, so I think I will still add a little bit of the blonde to it. But I'm gonna start with the brown, well, the, the copper brown first. So I'm gonna use a whole bottle of this one. And I look, you might have too much water for this equation, but I want to make sure it can fit my whole wig in there. So like I said, I do have two of these copper colors. So if it waters it down, it'll be okay. Okay, so I re-angled stuff because it was just kind of weird and I feel like I was just giving a little bit too much booty cheeks. So this is how the color looks with one bottle of the red. Um, I haven't added anything else to it yet. Uh, I'm going to use the paper towel just to show you how it will look because that's a good way of testing how your color will look if you water dye it. Okay, so this is giving me um, Kool-Aid red color. Um, I like red, but I do have a red wig that I already have, so I don't really want it to be completely the same color. Even though that's a frontal and this is a closure, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a good amount. I don't know, maybe like half of this honey blonde color. But this is a honey blonde, so it's not gonna be like, it's not gonna make it like bright, bright. It's a little more of an orange color. So I'm gonna just stir this up. I 
I use so much of that red. I don't think it's going to make a difference. So I'm just going to use the rest of that honey. As y'all can see, I got a new apartment. Um, I'll probably do a video another time later on this so we can talk more about that. But I have moved. I have got a new job. I got a big girl job in a new city. So, you know, life is pretty cool or whatever. If it wasn't for this COV-18, things would be a little different right now, but it's okay. I had one bottle of honey, one bottle of copper. I'm gonna use my spoon and just put it, um, stir it around more to get it more even. I feel like it's still gonna be super red regardless, but I guess it's kind of give it a little bit more of the color to it. I said I was gonna do a voice on this whole video and here I am talking. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna use this corner. Okay, yeah, that's about the color I'm looking for. It almost kind of look bloody. <laughs> so if you see, it's more of a orangey red color and that's what I want. I want copper, but not like straight penny copper, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put this down here into my sink. You're not gonna be able to see it, probably. Well, I'll put it right here. Well, no. Oh, well, whatever. So I'm gonna take my wig. Um, and I wanna show you the knots real quick to see, so I'll show y'all what I was talking about. If you look, the knots are bleached, but they're just like more bleached on the outer edge. Cause I did do the right here last, but like if you look right here, it's way darker than it is right there. So I'm just gonna dip this inside of the container. Now I've never actually done this, so I don't really remember how long you're supposed to leave it in there. But because the hair is already bleached, I probably don't have to do it for so long. But I'm gonna leave it in there for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's the next day and I have um, blow dried and straightened my wig. Um, I don't have the best lighting in my bathroom right now, so I'll try to get closer to show you. The color did take a little bit, but it's not as vibrant as I wanted it to be. Um, I forgot that this wig was actually natural black and not the natural brown color. If it was the brown color originally, I do think it would be more vibrant. Um, when I go in the light, you do see the color a lot better. So I'm gonna probably try to go outside or something so you can get a better view or maybe just like a quick video with the flash on. Overall, I am pleased. Um, it does make the wig look a little bit more interesting versus the plain color it was. So I'm not completely unsatisfied. I would give this more of a, like a brownish red color. Um, like I said, you'll see it better in lighting. So I will insert some um, footage of that. Um, I When I first straightened it, I did start curling it. I kind of made the curls go that way. But me and my boyfriend went and got some food real quick. And when I came back, I just magically could not do it anymore. So I'm gonna probably just insert some clips later on somewhere in the video of me with the hair styled a little differently. This wig is one of the four by four machine wigs and it has that little, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like the wig has like a point right here and here like to line up in front of your ears. And that annoys me, honestly. I don't know why so many companies do that, but the closure is very flat. Um, I did pluck it and I did add a little bit of makeup. I did use the powder that I always use, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. 365 the color nutmeg i put that in the part and i tweeze my part with my tweezers and i use the flyaway tamer i did not have a lot of flyaways but i did have this one piece of hair that was very short right here in the middle of the closure so i did flatten that down um overall i like the color it's not too vibrant like i said i work in a bank and i don't want to wear anything that's too dramatic or attention grabbing so this will be like the perfect for me it's like and when i go out of work and i'm in better lighting you'll see it better but when i'm at work it's subtle enough that it's not a big deal um overall i would give this color an 8 out of 10 because it is a nice color but it's not the color i was going for the red that i used the copper the copper brown or just copper it was much more dark red than it looked on the actual bottle um it was like a it was like a cherry red and then i do feel like the honey brown did bring it down some but 
it wasn't like a, if it was a powder versus the liquid i think it would have lifted it more to get it the color i want it to be but like i said i am pleased with it at some point i think i will bleach over it to bring out the um, blonde undertones and it'll even it out because i had to do that with my real hair one time if you're interested in that comment below and i'll get a video on that a little later but like i said i will kind of show you all how i'm gonna style this wig a little bit more and some clips near the end so i hope you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and like i said check out my description box my friend has a new channel and i'm gonna link it below so you can look out her videos hope y'all have a good day bye